are you all today? I am Priyanka and let us discuss the following question. It says, solve 24x less than 100 when x is a natural number, x is an integer. For both these subparts, we need to solve the given equation. Before proceeding on, we should be well versed with the key idea that is going to help us. It is the rules for solving linear inequalities. Rule 1 says equal numbers may be added to or subtracted from both sides of an inequality without affecting the sign of inequality. That means to both these sides, that is the left hand side and the right hand side, we can add or subtract an equal number without affecting the sign of the inequality. This is the sign of the inequality we are talking about. Whereas, rule 2 says, both sides of an inequality can be multiplied or divided by the same positive number. But, when both sides are multiplied or divided by a negative number, then the sign of the inequality refers. So, these are the two rules that will be helping us in solving the inequality given to us. Let us start with our solution. The inequality given to us is 24x less than 100. Now, we are required to find the values for x when x is a natural number and x is an integer. Now, 24x less than 100 on dividing by the same positive 24 number, we get 24. Now here we have divided 24 to both sides and hence we have used rule that we discussed in our key idea, right? So, on doing so, we have the value of x as x is less than 25 by 6. Now, when x is a natural number, then the solution set will be one. 2, 3, till 4. Right? Because by substituting these values here, it will make the given inequality true. As we know that 25 divided by 6 is 4 point something. So, x has to be less than 4 point something and since we are given here that it is a natural number, so it will be starting from 1, 2 and goes on till 4. Hence, this is the solution set for the first part. And the second part, when x is an integer, The values of x will be 
all the natural numbers that is for sure make it a whole number and then the negative numbers also so the negative numbers can be written to as many as we can as it does not have an end point we'll end up writing this answer to be our solution set for the second part right so when x is a natural number our solution set are having elements 1 2 3 4 and when x is an integer the values of x are 4 3 2 1 0 -1 minus -2 minus -3 minus and so on right so this completes the question that was given to us i hope you enjoyed the session do remember the rules and bye for now